How does power factor affect sound quality in audio? This question comes from Joseph in Melbourne, Australia. Today my question is about PFC and amplifiers. As you said before, most of the class A and AB amplifier power factors are around 0.7. So my question is, shall we add PFC, power factor correction, to the amplifier circuit to make it more efficient? PFC usually is a capacitor bank, and probably it can feed an amplifier more instant power. It might be able to make power amps sound more dynamic, and that's what I'm imagining anyway. Can you please explain, does it work or does it not? Oh boy, power factor. Well, if, if, you're, if you're not up for a little bit of technical stuff, let's um, pass by this video and, and go on because power factor, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it as simple as I can. In fact, I'll show you about complexity. I, 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 all right, I have been dying to do this. Hey Google, what is power factor? According to Wikipedia, in electrical engineering, the power factor of an AC electrical power system is defined as the ratio of the real power absorbed by the load to the apparent power flowing in the circuit and is a dimensionless number in the closed interval of minus one to one. Holy crap, holy. Hey Google, thank you. You're welcome. Ah. What the hell did that mean? All right, let's go over, uh, it's, see what I mean? If you ask somebody, well, you know, power factor. I, I, I understood that because I get what it is, but I'll bet most of you had no frickin' clue what that meant. So let, let me explain power factor in as simple terms as I can. So power factor, let's see, let's pick one here, is a way of measuring how current and voltage are consumed by a piece of electronic equipment, okay? So if we have a power factor of one, which is ideal, what it means is that the voltage going up and down like that, this is what's coming out of the wall and going into our amplifier, powering it, this is 120 volts, right? Um, whatever current it's consuming is being consumed like this in exactly the same manner. So this is current, this is you know, the, the, the motive, uh, the, the driving force, the watts if you will. So if this thing takes you know, one amp of, of current, you know, the, the, the motor part of it here, um, it's drawing current at the same time that it's drawing voltage. As, as it draws more voltage, it draws more, they just follow each other. And a power factor of one, like this, is actually pretty rare. Um, and it's usually done for a resistor or for a heater, so, or a light bulb. Light bulbs, heaters, things like that, that are purely resistive loads. The voltage and the current track each other, and so, it's, it's really nice. Now, what he's referring to is an amplifier that has a lower power factor, and generally this um, is measured as something less than one, and let's call it 0.7, and here's what that looks like. So here, here, again, here's our voltage, right? But what happens with the current? The current, it goes like this. I'm, I'm, I'm not accounting for the, the Forgive me, I'm not accounting for the lower part, right? Let's just, let's just, because I'm not much of an artist. So as, as the voltage goes in and rises, no current's being drawn. No current's being drawn, and when it gets right up to here, um, at this point, all of a sudden, bam! All kinds of current are being drawn, okay? And that's where this big spike of current comes, and then as it, and so we're just filling in this little part up here. That's all we're doing. The rest of this is not drawing any current. And so you get this, this, this of current that doesn't match this beautiful current of a, of a power factor of one. And so what happens, and why do we care about that? Well, there's a couple of reasons. One, remember, we are not an island when it comes to power. 
we share power with our neighbors. And, if ever, and, and we're all synchronized together. So if everybody's got a, a low power factor device, and most devices today are fairly low power factor, uh, and plugged in at the same time, now we're not talking light bulbs and stuff, we're talking computers and, and uh, stereo equipment and whatnot. Then what happens is the voltage up here will start getting lopped off because as it, we're drawing current real quick, all of a sudden we start losing voltage. The, the, it becomes flat topped because if enough people are on here, it starts drawing down the line and you get this clipped waveform. And that's because we're, we're to simultaneously drawing a lot of current only at this very peak. And, and the reason that happens is because we've got a bank of capacitors uh, in, in our, in our, with our diode bridge over here. And, and every time the, you know, the capacitors drain a little bit, they're like batteries, they kind of hold on. And so between cycles, they'll drain, but they don't drain all the way. So when it comes back for another cycle, their, you know, their voltage is down to here. We just have to top off their supply. That's what's happening. And this top off of the supply, because of these capacitors, is what's drawing all the current to just, just get them back up, okay? And that causes a flat top waveform over here. Now power plants, our AC regenerators, fix that problem. So when you put this kind of waveform in to a power plant, what you get out is that, and that's something that, that extra energy that we add back in with a power plant, that cannot be um, filled in or reproduced with something as simple as a um, uh, power conditioner. Power conditioner can't, can't fill that back in, can't fix that. Only a regenerator can, only a power plant kind of thing can. So, all right, so his question is, how does that affect uh, the sound quality of an audio product? Well. It does it in a couple of ways. One, uh, when you need that peak energy to fill your stereo product back up, it isn't there. So you're, you're missing out on some of that peak energy and it just makes the problem worse. But probably worse than that is the effect that it has on everything else in the house. So if you have something that is really drawing down the current and causing those, those nasty flat tops that we talked about up there, then everything else connected to it is suffering from that same thing. And you're not getting, you're, you're, you're putting out uh, a distorted waveform, you're, you're, you've, you've, you're not getting the pure power that you actually want and need, okay? And that's really a problem. So his question is, if we have this amplifier, couldn't we hook up sort of a whole bunch of capacitors on the input and do power factor correction? Well, yes and no. A whole bunch of capacitors is not going to correct power factor. There is, there are passive means of correcting power factors, but it's more than just a bank of capacitors. It's inductors and capacitors, and you're gonna have a smaller waveform. I mean, somehow you have to make up the energy for that. So most switch mode power supplies today have power factor correction built into them. And it's, it's an electronic means of doing that. And I I'm, don't have the bandwidth or anything to show you on that. And yeah, if everything were power factor corrected, we'd have a lot cleaner, better sounding stereo system than if we didn't. But it isn't just a matter of just throwing some caps on there. It's a fairly complicated circuit. It's not something you're just gonna do easily and yes, Someday, we would love to have all of our products be all power factor corrected. Today, they are not. It's, it's not an easy problem. It really isn't. So, the, in, in the meantime, our customers buy power plants and they drive their system off of power plants. And then regardless of how ugly the power comes in, your stereo system at least has pure, perfect, pure, uh, flat top free uh, power being fed to it despite the fact that it, it itself is getting ugly and nothing affects anything else. But that's an expensive solution. So there you go. I hope that answers your question without getting too technical. All right. And thanks, Mrs. Google. Okay. Bye.